In this video, I'll talk about how to do something uh, useful with the video pipe, which is uh, track colored objects. So in this pipeline right here, we have a camera source feeding into a color model converter. This color model converter changes our VGR image into uh, an HSV image, like so. Uh, and this HSV image gets passed into a module called inrange S. What inrange S does for us is it takes every pixel in the frame and it tells us whether or not it is within the range of these low and high scalers, each scaler being uh, three-dimensional in Q saturation value. So right now, because the high values are all set to max and the low values are all set to min, um, we basically get every pixel coming through. But um, now I bring into view the object that I want to track, and that's this rubber ducky right here. Um, it's a nice yellow little rubber ducky that's different in color from everything else in the frame. So what I'll do to track this object is I will start playing with some of these scalers. So I'll start by lowering the high value of the hue until I can't see the duck anymore. So that's right around here. And then I'll move the lower limit similarly. So right here. So actually just by using the hue, I can get a quite good tracking of the, of the yellow color. I can use saturation to get an even better segmentation. So I can move the saturation value down move the lower limit up quite a bit, so now I have a really, really good uh, segmentation of the duck as I move it around in the, in the frame. So how do I now extract these regions of, um, of continuous white space in this frame right here? And I have a nice module that does this called blob detection. What blob detection does is exactly that. It looks for continuous um, white spaces in the frame and creates little blobs around them, and these blobs uh, are basically data objects that have the centroid, the xy value of the center of the object, as well as the contour of the outside and the area of the blob. And the output of this module is a list of these kinds of blobs, currently just containing one um, blob, which is my duck. So this is great, and I could take these blobs and, and do whatever I, I want with them. The thing that I'll do just now for, um, for demonstration purposes is I'll add the threshold module right here so, um, I'll throw away the threshold value, I'll feed in the raw video as input and then I'll add a custom script it's a Python script that I call blob script um, in a different tutorial I'll describe how to make these little Python scripts and embed them in the video pipe but um, for now what this script does is it basically just takes this list of blobs, takes the first blob and the x value, the basically the value of um, uh, the position of the duck along this horizontal axis, and it feeds it through as a scalar. So now I take this scalar and I pass it in as the thresholding value to the thresholding module. So now as I move the duck around, you can see that the thresholding value of the, uh, of the uh, threshold window changes with the horizontal position of the duck. Great, so now we have a, a color object tracker in video pipe.